Welcome to this video. Today I will be testing the free version of Immunet, which I have up here on the screen right now. And I've also got a folder full of samples of malware, 51 samples in total. And so we're going to test to see how well this program can protect us against these threats. Now the procedure is as follows. In a moment I will activate the free version of Immunet. We'll let it sit for just a moment, see if it can detect anything on the computer by itself after which I will run a system scan and then scan the samples folder dire uh, directly. And then if there's any samples left after that, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can protect us. One thing I did notice is it does say secure currently, but if we go into the settings, you can see that I've got them currently turned off. And so that is kind of an interesting note that this doesn't update when the real-time protection is turned off. Uh, the program itself, you know, just looking at it, does look kind of archaic, but again, at the end of the day, we're just testing the protection. And so please also note that Windows 10 and this program is up to date, but we'll go ahead and do the update now just to be sure. And we've confirmed that it is up to date, so we'll go ahead and close that, and then we'll go to settings and go ahead and turn everything back on. And then we'll go ahead and let it sit here for just a few minutes, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, I've let it sit here for several minutes, and so far I have not noticed anything pop up. So let's go ahead and check our samples folder. And it does look like we still have all 51 items there. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and do a system scan. We'll do a full scan, and then we'll let that run, and we'll be back with the results. All right, the scan has completed, and it looks like it found 24 detections are 24 threats so we're going to go ahead and hit close let's just double check our samples folder and it is down to 28 so we still have some samples in there so let's go ahead and do a direct scan we'll just right click and scan now and then again we'll be back with the results here in just a moment Either the direct scanning option is not working or it's just running very quickly in the background nothing's popping up to show that it's actually running and so if I open up the folders for our sample, it does look like one more item was removed because a moment ago we did have 28 and now it's down to 27. Regardless, we still have a bunch of samples here. So at this point, we're going to try to execute these and then we'll see what happens. As I was going through and executing the remaining samples, this did pop up. So it looks like it did finally do the direct scan. There may have just been a delay, but it did remove an additional 12 results there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then we can see that we still have some samples in here. And I did go through and try to execute all of the remaining samples. And so at this point, what we're going to do is restart the computer. And then we're going to run some second opinion scans to see what is left on the computer. I ran a scan with malware bytes and it came back positive with 49 results detected. And so I went ahead and quarantined all of these. And so here's the list of what it found. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and close this. And then we're going to restart the computer again and then run another second opinion scan. I ran a scan with MZSoft and it came back clean with zero results detected. And I also ran a scan with Zamana, which also came back clean with zero results detected. So let's talk about the results here for just a moment. Remember, we started with 51 samples of malware on the original system scan. It found 24 results and removed those. And then the direct folder scan had a delay, but it finally detected 12 results and removed those as well. And I did notice while I was trying to execute the remaining files that it was at times popping up trying to prevent them from executing. But again, Malwarebytes found 49 traces of malware on the computer. Now, if you do the math and kind of wonder how it came to 49, just keep in mind that 
That can be a result of a single piece of malware infecting different parts of the computer or multiple parts of the computer, as well as it can be a result of Immunet not doing a clean removal or clean quarantine of the results that it found. So in short, Immunet did not do fantastic. It didn't do the worst I've ever seen, but it definitely did not do a good job. All of these threats were of high priority, and so it's very important that we get close to 100% detection on this type of test. It is true that this is just one type of test. It may do better in other types, but in this specific test, it did not do well. I would also like to mention that Immunet needs to update their user interface. It looks old and archaic, and again, the protection is not great, so there's really no reason to recommend using this program, especially when there's other free options out there. First and foremost, Windows Defender and other free options such as Avast, Bitdefender, or whatever you prefer. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.